Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll tell you how to create an, ex an, an invoice in Excel in just three minutes. Wow! Now this is such a cool thing and your invoice would look something like this and depends on your own creative ingenuity how much better can you make it look. Alright, so it will have the details of the seller, the details of the buyer, the quantity, it will have the names which you can then either pick from a drop down list or type yourself it will have the option for the price to be auto picked based upon the item you have chosen like like you see if i change this name of the product the price automatically changes the total amount is automatically calculated there's a subtotal that is calculated you can input your own taxation rate over here like i've mentioned 10 percent you can mention one percent and then you have the total and over here you can type in anything so how do we make it but before that how does it look like so i press a control p to see how it would look like so this is a print preview this is how it would look like see it solves the purpose you get a professional looking invoice done in two minutes and how do we do it here we go so on this sheet i have typed in the text that i want in the invoice and now i'll simply do formatting all right so this is the first line i want to format what i'll do is i will go to merge and center all right and change the color from here and go to cell styles and make it beautiful looking all right and Don't worry, we'll, we'll, it'll come in sync. Now, invoice number and name, okay, no issues. This section, I want to be merged and centered. Again, this section, I want to be merged and centered. This section again. Now, I want them left aligned. Pin code and phone number is fine. Buyer details, I want it merged and centered. I want it in bold. So, I bold them all right and then this section again we can merge and center it will look nice and now we can left align them this section is something which is important for us item name we want it to be a bit wider and let's widen up our amount also and over here I need to have the cell merged and center till E not till F so I'll unmerge it and now I will just delete some space from here so that it can come over here and have this color go taken away from this cell all right we are almost there and now I can either choose to type in whatever product name I have or better I can simply pick them up from a list which is easier all right so I select the area where I would be typing in the quantity and I will apply a drop down list over here so what I have done is on this sheet I have created the products I have I mentioned the project products I have and I mentioned the prices over here all right so I go back to my sheet again and then I select the area where the names need to appear. I click on data and data validation and type click on data validation again. And from this, I choose list. Now it will say ask for a source. Now the source is in this sheet and I select these two cells as simple as that. Press OK. And you have now the option to pull up your items from a drop down list see now the price you can either type it in or best way apply a VLOOKUP I'm not teaching VLOOKUP in this video I'm sure you would have watched or you would watch my other I okay so I'm not teaching VLOOKUP in this video uh, I have created other videos uh, more than I believe seven which teach VLOOKUP which is pretty easy 
So we type in VLOOKUP is equal to VLOOKUP and what do we need to look for? This item, comma, where do we need to look it from? From this sheet. What do we need to look? The price which is on the second cell next to the item we are looking for. So we press an F4 to fix it, comma 2, comma 0. Ah, we have the price. Now you can choose, say, the silver pack. Drag the formula down and you have your price. Over here, this is simple. We simply multiply the price with the quantity. Drag the formula down. Apply subtotal is equal to sum. Select this area. Now apply taxes, say 10%. Mention whatever tax percent you want. Is equal to subtotal into the tax percentage. All right. And then you get total is equal to sum. And you total the tax percentage and the subtotal. You have the total amount. And now for the bottom footer, select this area. Go to home tab, margin center. Get it center aligned bottom. And now let's beautify it further. Now I will make it look good. I select this area and I go to the back fill number fill color and I fill it with white color. So now you don't see these grids over here. Alright. And now let us left align these. Let us left align these. Alright. And let's have some border in place to make it look good. So we have an outer border. All right. Now we can also give an outer border to this area. We can give an outer border and an inner border to this area. All right. Make it thicker. And let's give a border to this area also. First, let's give an inner border and then let's give a outer thick border. And here you are. The invoice is ready. Press Ctrl P to see how it looks. And here we are. <laughs> I hope you like this video. You can actually go to mylesson.org. To download this invoice template for free and watch many other such videos. So until then, this is your Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.